Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Rogue Trader. We're still chasing our... Oh, this guy. Can I... I can't even click on him to see what hit points he's got. Okay. Yeah, this is... This has got climactic battle written all over it, isn't it? Well... I mean, I guess we're going in. Let's seize the opportunity. Upon noticing you, Cubus Delphim straightens. You hear the clanging and groaning of metal as if the pistons and bearings in the fabricator sensor's augmented body are fused together. Repellent scrapes and screeches punctuate his speech. Can't remember what oh no, there's another one of these. Oh god. Oh no. You, the probability of navigating your way, of reaching the inner line, was negligible. Primordial truth guards me and my work. But why is it that this variable has yet to be eliminated? I shall venture a guess. If it is because I am an illustrious rogue trader, Von Valencius, conqueror of the Coronas Expanse, and you are a talking piece of refuse. How dare you insult me? Your insolence is an unexpected factor. No matter, the error will soon be rectified. Soon. <laughs> ah, you can still save yourself. Let us stop this nightmare together. Heinrichs laughs scathingly before immediately cutting himself off with a hard... <laughs> no. Your fragile logical construct infers my agreement to once again become a slave to the Deus Mechanicus. An erroneous assertion considering the revelations divulged to me by the truth. For too long was I a prisoner of dogmas, a static unit of obedience. But one who has learned of the freedom that his lawless creation cannot be to return to that cage. I have seen things you could never comprehend true technology. I touched it with my tools. I grasped its mysteries and potential. I beheld depths that cannot be forgotten, and now nothing could drag me back into the darkness of ignorance. I saw the strange constructs on the lines of the Manufactorum. What mad machines are you creating here? Steel creations destined to serve the designs of truth. Did you see the elegance of their form? Their flawless ergonomics? <laughs> and those are mere shells. True perfection fills them when they are instilled with the spark of life and granted purpose, to bring their wrath upon the heads of apostates. Once this army is assembled... But why waste words? You will see for yourself a modicum of the splendor that is in store for the Coronas Expanse. The fabricator sensor straightens his back and shoulders. You hear a mounting hum as if from powerful turbines, followed by heavy footsteps and the grinding of metal against metal. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, no. Surely we're not fighting all these guys, right? Well, at least he's killing them. Witness the weapon designed to carry the glory of the true gods into the darkness of the Coronas Expanse. My shepherd has sent me one of his iron angels so that his very presence may instill faith and awe in the hearts of his flock. Accept the greatness of the primordial truth united with the might of the new Kiavagama, and perish. I shall purge Kiavagama of your corruption. Accept this new sacrifice, sacred truth. The absurdity of your struggle okay, this is mad. Forge fiend. Don't, please don't tell me he's got the same thing that the other one had. Uh... Okay, he's got that. Manifestation. Okay. Okay, he's got immunities, but he's not going to attack us every time he gets hit, like previously. This guy... What has he got going on? Uh, okay, he regenerates the wounds of allied demonic creatures. That's annoying. Uh, immunity to certain things. Shock damage suffered is increased. Don't think we do any shock damage, unfortunately. 
He's okay. He's not. He can't dodge very well. Okay. Responds to all incoming attacks within a one-cell radius. So we don't want to melee this guy. Uh, what? Else? Oh god! What else have we got? We've got corrupted technomats. I mean, yeah. Okay. They're probably the least of our worries. Woof, okay, well Cassie's going first, so let's just make sure she's got line of sight on everyone. Uh, then Argenta's going pretty soon. Uh, I'd quite like for her to burst down. Uh, get a burst on Delphin, but he's going to have a go first. Um, so I might want to get her in cover if I can. Not... Uh, I'll put him in that cover, I suppose. Then it'll be me. Uh, I'm going to go here. going to be easy. Avalard there. Pascal, come here. Come hither. Uh, is there everyone? No, Heinrichs. Heinrichs, Heinrichs, Heinrichs. Well, see there, dude. At least it's full cover. Right, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, <laughs> quick save as well, because this, uh, this could go badly. Could go badly. Cassia. Okay, well, at least we're going to try doing your thing. Uh, we can maybe even start with one of these. Navigator, not a star. Now, can we get you all to maybe bunch up a little bit? If I may. Right, now can we get you guys to attack him? Oh, you shot him? Okay. Oh, but these two must have passed. Alright, well, fine. Um, I guess if we're going to melee, it's probably going to be on this guy. Uh, cover strategy on... Heinrichs. And we'll put the uh, ranged stuff on uh, Argenta. What did he do? What did he do? Jay? Jay's not here. I don't know. I don't know what he did. Uh, okay, Argenta. We were going to burst on this thing. What sort of hit chance have we got? 87's not bad, actually. Uh, my only concern, actually, is whether she's going to hit Abelard. Might be better for her to come over here. So let's concentrate our fire. Uh, let's just gain momentum. So, uh... Yeah, okay. Um, I probably will do that. I think we'll do both of these. Right, let's get some chunky burst fire on this boy then. Oh. As the Emperor commands, I act. Oh, yeah, we killed one. Not bad. Damn. Me. So this thing, does it hit all enemies? All creatures in a 12 cell line, so let, we should try and see if I can get this on, on these guys. One, two. Yeah, I'm kind of hitting him from, say. One, uh, duh, duh, duh. I think that's hitting both. Something. 
Um, I think I'm going to give our Ge uh, another go. Throw another one of these. Ah, does she need two for the burst fire? Oh no! Ah, uh, okay. Seven, yeah, worth it. Not. Uh, me again. Um, let's beef up Abelard's strength. Um, is this thing on fire? I, don't, I think no, I, think it, I don't think it's on fire. Uh, let's give Heinrich's voice a command. Crap. I'm getting rid of all our cover. Damn. I won't go down easy. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Uh, yes, yeah, sworn enemy. Indeed. Uh, let's get a freebie attack on it. 32. Uh, let's do this. Uh, let's do this. 27. Mm. I might be able to just kill this thing. Oh, he does? Okay, well, we parried it anyways. Didn't know if he had, like, melee stuff going on, but he did. I'll do an endure. Alright. Pascal! Hmm. I don't like these guys threatening Argenta and stuff, so... Let me come in and deal with them. You got a forty two percent hit chance of hitting that. Everyone, step aside. Oh no, where's this gone? Oh, I can't lose. <clears throat> Well, that's dumb. For Let's use it to go here. Glory. Okay. Like, I think we do that. How much does that need? That's two AP, so I can spend one. Let's okay. see to it. I'll hit both these guys. But of course. <laughs> Oh. Wasn't as good as I thought it might be. Right, Cassia. Not to cross my gaze. Just 
a lot of the time, I'm sure. Um. Do not dare ask. Oh, he can't act. Oh god, we probably stunned him, didn't we? I'll show you why navigators are feared. I'll do it. Enter. Uh, get a few more of those off. Doubt is for the weak. <laughs> Doing a lot of damage to him. Yeah, fine, that'll do. Is foolishness. Yeah, give him another go, maybe. Of military tactics. As the Emperor commands, the Emperor. Uh, she can't do that. Oh, missed on an 85. Oh, really? Uh-oh. Souls shall become like fire. Don't frighten me. Chanta. I'll do it. Straight to the As the Emperor commands, I act. Let's try and get fury. decent damage on this guy. Uh, I'll do it. Pretty good. Faith without deeds is worthless. Oh. I mean, not bad. Argenta, not bad. Oh, nice. Hey, me. I'd like to set this dude on fire, I think. One step death shall reign. Keep them on fire. I reject the very idea. I won't waste my time on that. I think we should try and make sure we're not grouping up somewhere right over here. Oh, no, he's dead. Okay. Um, we'll try and get some plasma shots on this guy. Seventy-five percent extra damage. I don't necessarily want to burn that for two turns, though. Let's do the area attack. We should get him. Nine. It's a bit rubbish. Okay, 
you can't move, so that's something. Uh, do this, maybe. Fifty-five, twenty-seven. It's not great, is it? Let's see to it. Oh, well, let's try and heal our Genta a bit. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, she's over here, isn't she? For the throne's glory. I won't cast her away, really. I'll try to lure him away. An nice. Strike. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, well, let's see if they can attack each other. For three. Well, <laughs> it all helps, doesn't it, I suppose? I can't go up here and use the warp eye on him. Oh, yeah, not ideally on those guys, though. Got it. Got it. 41 on him, that's pretty good. Uh, let's relocate the melee ones right here. Crap, he's down again. Fighting. Another loss. Inconsequential. Alright, let's get rid of the I'll do it. that. <laughs> Concentrate burst fire. Stick this on. As the Emperor commands, I act. And then we're gonna shoot through these guys. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna save that one. Give me again. I'm gonna hit him with this. I will try a blood soaked tribute. We're getting there, we're getting there. Who would I want to give another go to? Maybe uh maybe Argenta. She'll need to reload after a shot, I think. I want another concentrated fire. For the week. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands. <laughs> he might be down. Argenta. Sweet. Well, that's it then. Uh, let's quickly heal Argenta though. So that doesn't turn into a permanent thing. I can put a couple more med kits on her. So what do the what do these do that's better? Bleeding, burning toxin heals one fresh injury, or if none, one old injury upon a successful test. Hmm. I'll take that on there. Okay. What's he got? A Mars Pattern Lasgun. Okay. What's this? Grants 20 to tech use. Very nice. And a C Delphin Pattern Omniscient Axe. Ooh, that was pretty nice damage. Ooh, that might be a good upgrade for... Uh, what's his face? Pascal, then. So we'll keep one of these, but then the others I think I'll send to Cargo Zone. There we go. Alright, yeah, let's have a look at those. So, Pascal looked like he got some good stuff there. 
Um, oh yeah, big upgrade. Big upgrade. There's nothing not to like there, is there? Sweet. And... The tech thingy... Which is this. 20 to tech you, so you should have got to 110. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Need to have a bit of a sort through that inventory as well at some point. So how are we doing? Oh, that's a return to void ship, is it? We're done here. Wow. Okay. That was quite a fun fight. Quite a fun fight. Who's this? Sharp pain pierces your head, and the light dims in your eyes. You smell smoke and burning. You feel a wave of nausea. Your legs buckle, and your knees hit the metal floor. In that same moment, the manufactorum surrounding you disappears in a whirlwind of mist, ash, and grey shadows. Struggling against the elements, you can barely raise your head to look. Your eyes sting and burn, but through the tears you see it. A colossal silhouette rising above you. The roaring tempest is unable to shake the mighty figure. Who or what are you? Urulon the Cruel. The warriors in human eyes bore into you. I am the master of those who have been felled by your hand in the halls of the primordial truth. I am Urulon the Cruel. The souls of my followers return to the fount of power they served, crying out for me to cast my gaze toward this sacrilege. And what do I see? Yet another lackey of the Corpse Emperor. The giant's voice causes the storm raging around you to die down somewhat, as if the very sound of his voice is enough to make the whirlwind subside. You glance at the huge warrior and notice on his chest a winding azure symbol. Shades of blue seem to shimmer and mingle together. I am the sovereign of Kiavagama. This is my world, not a dominion of chaos. Oh, clinging to illusions will do you no good. The rituals have already been performed. The mortals are already singing the litanies of the primordial truth, or decorating the sacrificial altars with their flesh. Kiava Gamma, as you call it, is already saturated in the nectar of the truth, a fate that awaits all worlds that would stand in our way. What do you want with me? I want to look upon the one who has disrupted my flock's duties and masters, my master's plans. That warrior from my legion, the Fabricator Sensor. You think of their deaths as a triumph. However, it is but a minor hindrance on our path. There are other worlds that serve our goals. There are other sources of plastile and adamantine. Revel in your victory. It will change nothing. Nevertheless, the blood in your veins whispers to the spirits that you warrant a closer look. Hmm, yes. You are a descendant of the rogue trader whose warrant Conrad Voidvir sought to obtain. By defiling the relic and binding it to himself with the tethers of the Empyrean, he was meant to become my servant, a rogue trader who would do the work of the truth. But then you interfered. Could it be that you wish to gain the true God's favor instead? Do you wish to present the corpse's relic to me and serve the truth? Hear your very blood calling, begging you to submit to me. What would be the point of futile defiance? Uh... <laughs> no, we're not doing the heretical thing. Uh, Iconoclast, you waste your time trying to tempt me. It is not blood that defines a person's deeds. Only their will does. And my will is thus. Be gone from my mind. His expression twists in pain as he stares at you in rage and bafflement. Pritiful insect. You dare. A gust of wind sweeps Urulon's figure away without a trace. The mist around you begins to dissipate 
revealing the dark halls of the Manufactorum and leaving behind an oppressive sense of powerlessness. Abelard looks at you over worriedly, then sighs in cantankerous relief. Oh, that was a close call. For the sake of holy terror, if I'd lost a second rogue trader in such a paltry span of time, my only option would have been to shoot myself out of unending shame. I sense the presence of another psyker. Someone made contact with you mentally and then tried to harm you with sorcery. I did what I could. You at least appear unharmed. Can you remember what you saw? It was a Chaos Space Marine. One of the traitors to the Imperium. I don't think it was he who touched your mind. I wouldn't have had the strength to go up against a Psyker from the ranks of those monsters. He might have forced some mortal to do his bidding. Perhaps it was through the same hapless medium that he sensed the deaths of his henchmen. Heinrichs looks away and frowns. Such indescribable power. To have reached out to your mind at such a distance. He said something about Theodora, about how the blood in my veins will leave me to serve chaos. Sister Argento has been watching all of this intently, grows pale, and makes the sign of the Aquila to ward off evil. Heinrich stares at you, whether in surprise or anger you don't know, but he gives a curt nod. I see. Well, we can theorize later, although I will say, Dahlia von Berenicus, that his words do not leave much room for interpretation. The Manufactorum around you looks the same as before the vision. Maybe the shadows have grown a little deeper and darker. You dust yourself off and continue on your journey through the darkness. Well. Well, well, well. Interesting. The world's industrial heart has fallen to corruption, but numerous vox, faint vox signals from the periphery indicate that the planet's small manufacturing cluster survived without succumbing to the heretics. The sacred machines and hallowed lathes from these abodes have been reverently transported to the safety of the ship's holds. The fate of Kiava Gamma hangs in the balance. I think we, I mean, I don't necessarily want to go down a dogmatic route, but I think we have to purify it, don't we? Purify and restore. The servants of the Adeptus Minist Ministorum, Ministorum heeded the call and began to assemble a holy crusade to purify Chiava Gamma. It will take much time and effort to root out every tendril of corruption lurking in the dark corners of the Manufactorum. So we got through those mobile extractiums, that's nice, and some dogmatic points. Ooh, another one of these, huh? Okay. So, Restoration. The manufactorums of Chiava Gamma have been damaged and tainted by the procedures of the heretic Delphim. A renowned tech architect, the fugitive aristocrat Barabbas Gilius, is offering to enter the rogue trader's service as a planetary steward and restore the world to its former production capacity. So, we get cursed boots. Whenever the wearer ends their turn, they deal one warp damage to each adjacent creature and to the wearer themselves. Okay. There's an additional conviction heretical... No, I don't know about those. I don't think we need those. Blessed are the weaponsmiths. Great trials are ahead, and we must steel ourselves to face them. The rogue trader will sign a mutual aid agreement with the quaestors of the departmental Departmento Munitorum. These outstanding theoreticians of warfare will supervise the repurposing of the planet's manufactorums for the production of weapons and military equipment. In the jaws of lathe machines and the wombs of alloy vats, solar's plasteel will take on its highest and most perfect form, that of a weapon. Uh, so this gives us a plasma rifle, it looks like. The Dark Marche Marquesa. Which is fine, but to be honest, uh, it's not quite as good as the one we got on that mission anyway, so I'm not that worried about it. What about calculating holiness? Oh, we lose a profit factor doing this. For generations, the Adeptus Mechanicus have been custodians of the machinery and cogitators of Chiava Gamma. Recognizing the value of this tragedy-stricken world, they are willing to deploy a forged cathedral on it as a token of sympathy. Therein, the blessed fabricator sensor Fortron will envis envision and lay out a new and more perfect design for the planet. And we get the hand of Genus Xenocide, sorry. Uh, okay. I mean, it's good against Xenos as well. I... Is we just picked up a really good one of these. 
Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like losing the profit factor on this one. So I want to get as much of that as I can. I'm leaning towards restoration, even though I don't see a lot of use for these cursed boots. It's down to one or two, one of one or either of these, I think. Let's, let's just restore. Let's restore. It's done. I have spoken. Okay, good. Alright. So that doesn't increase our profit factor any. Uh, is there anything else to do on the planet? It doesn't look like it. Uh... Yeah, where where is my other yeah, my other colony? Colony reward. Touched by holiness. Complacency oh, this is Falstone. Complacency plus two. Okay. So we've got another one we can do here. Uh Okay, we obviously need another one. So we've got indulgences for sale. Profit factor plus one. And some fellowship of the void up two thousand. Not bad, not bad. We'll take that. I guess, uh, I guess we leave to the uh, galaxy map. Now I'll probably go back to some of the ones I've already visited as well. Uh, now that I've got some more of these extractiums, because there was some stuff I actually wanted to be mining on some of these worlds. I can't remember which ones. Uh, but let's start off by going to Nola Septum. Ah, okay, there's a safe route between those two. I think that might have been the one I created, actually. Uh, interesting we can't get down to either of these. Um, Alright, let's visit. Prometheum 7. I think I will go on that. I know I had... I know I'd found some Promethium nine, uh, but seven's not a bad, uh, not a bad lot. Have to look and see if we can fulfil any more contracts after we've got a couple more resource things down. Uh, hive City. The Santiel's pride hives are an oozing noxious haze, veined with sulphurous streaks. The Promethium fumes from the gigantic distilling cauldrons located beyond the temperature shields. Vast, endless deadlands littered with spots of Prometheum stations and refineries separate the colossi of rockcrete and adamantine with its crown of gargantuan spires. The heat of the system star has turned this world into a boiling but lucrative gland within the body of the House Corder Protectorate. It's hard to tell what's more impressive, the grotesque grandeur of this place or its extreme toxicity. Ah, uh, but nothing, to, nothing further to do here. Two adamantine, is that good? I don't know if that's good. Uh, two, we'll pop one down, we'll pop one down for now. It might be one of those resources that you never get huge amounts for. So we're gonna go to the previous system we'd visited then. Tenebrius, or Tenebris Aquae, let's do that. The warp jump was unusually hectic. The recent attack of the scrap code disabled many of the sacred machines whose malfunctioning algorithms showed no sign of failure until the vessel departed real space and surrendered itself to the Sea of Souls. 
Only the navigator's talent and a tireless vigil of the tech priest saved the void ship from ruin. The Immaterium releases from its grip this time. Yeah, so there's Plasteel on this one. It looks like we might be mining it, I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, I couldn't remember which systems had already visited and spotted that there were quite nice resource planets. Um, it looks like I've got something on here. Whoop! Smacked into that planetoid. So what are we gaining from here? We're getting Plasteel 2. Uh, or rather, there is Plasteel 2 here. I've obviously turned that down, though, as I didn't think that was worth it. And yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. Uh, back to the sister, uh, galaxy. Um, let's just think about what our ultimate goal here is. I mean, we want to head up... I think the last thing we do... Is, is this one. From what I've read, when we do this, it kind of ends the act. Um... So I think this will be our next main story mission, but this, I'd quite like to just do some exploring, I think. So maybe we'll just keep, uh, yeah, maybe we'll move up this way, maybe that'll allow us to move up there, I'm not sure. Lord Captain, I keep receiving reports about malfunctions among the various ship systems. This time we're dealing with inexplicable temperature fluctuations. Thermal control failures were observed not only in individual compartments, but even in the soldiers' protective equipment. Several crew members have suffered from burns and frostbite. The tech priests are performing the rites of machine spirit pacification and remain convinced that the issues were caused by the spirit's obstinacy and defiance. Their reports claim the incidents remain well within the scope of expected performance parameters. Over the last few days, complaints about the malfunctioning thermal controls have dwindled, but the crew members have started whispering that our vessel is haunted. The tech priests' assurances that only the machine spirit's tempers are to blame are doing nothing to dissuade these ridiculous rumours. Uh, like I said, we're gonna pop. We're gonna. Uh, okay. I think. Yeah. I think maybe here is where I'm gonna pop down a couple of things, a couple of these extractiums. <laughs> Certainly on the Prometheum. So if I remember, there was one that had like nine, uh, nine things on, wasn't it? What's okay. Uh, that's adamantine two, plasteel two, which I won't bother with. Um, but I think this is nine. Up uh, seven. Okay. Uh. Well, Xenotech. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to put it on the Prometheum because that sounds like quite a nice little stash of that. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll pop into the journal before I do anything else because I'd like to see if we can fulfill any contracts now. We might get some uh, profit stuff go. Oh, we got up to thirty-three on that, by the way. <laughs> Uh, so what is it? It's, um, channel. So what do we got? Xenotech 2, no. Fuel for the Faithful we can do. And... Oh, Adamantine 5. I mean, I could complete that if I pop that other Extractium down. Alright. Oh, wait, this one is... I've got to spend the Profit Factor. And I get the adamantine. I'm not sure about that yet. But I think... I think I might be up to enough to buy the stuff I want. Uh, oh, we've leveled up as well. Uh, okay, well I think what we should do then is go back to the bridge and I'll talk to my factotum. Okay, well first things first, let's do some trading stuff because I've been really looking forward to getting this stuff. It's going to unlock a lot of power for my character. Uh, do this. I can't remember who it's from, though. Is it from Riza? I think this is it. The Staff of Endless Flame. So let's just... Uh, where'd it go? Did I buy it? I may have already bought it. All right, I just want to read the info. So you strike with it or for Inferno's 2 AP, Inferno Heroic Act or Desperate Measure. <laughs> Gains the Inferno ability to also available in its Heroic Act and Desperate Measures versions. Power level affects the damage. For every two creatures suffering burning in combat, the power level of this staff is increased by one. So what does Inferno do? 
Doesn't really explain what the Inferno ability does, but maybe it does when it's equipped. Okay, well we got that anyway. Uh, we've also got the auto pistol. Uh, fine. Hmm. And I guess we'll take that. Let's see what else are we building towards the Apex Predator's gloves. I don't have any bounty hunters at the moment. Yeah. Okay, well I think I might be done with them for now. Let's see who else we've got. I'm not sure who's got Santic powers. Cloak of Retribution. Get 50% bonus to damage against enemies that dealt damage to the wearer this round. Power Claymore. I don't think that's as good as what Ablard's using now. Ah, but, 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 yeah, we could get the Heavy Bolter. I think that's a must. Okay, so we need to get up to Reputation 4 with these guys. Don't think it's going to be possible. <laughs> um, we can certainly do quite a lot with them. Oh, up to 6, in fact. Alright. I may have traded too much with them, but never mind. We're here now. So let's go in the three multi-keys as well. Uh, Cloak of Hatred. Each enemy killed by the wearer's area attacks increases damage of the wearer by 3% until the end of combat. So area attacks could be like... Could, well, could be our Inferno stuff. Could be Argenta's um, stuff as well. So I quite like that. We'll get that. Get the Heavy Bolter. Uh, we might as well take the Power Claymore. Why not? Get some grenades. Uh, sure, may as well take it. Uh, may as well take that too, right? Um, okay. What about Opticon? Oh yeah, we'll take these. Three of these, very nice. Well, that could work. I mean, we'd have to be able to level him up a bit. Level was it? Five? It's level five, okay. There we go. So we can take that now. Cast Balak mission. Yeah, it's all kind of expensive. I mean, if we got to level one, though, we could get some of this stuff. But I don't know if I really want it. Yeah, we've got nothing tradable for him right now anyway. Fellowship of the Void, we just did. Uh, what about Imperial Navy? We got anything to trade with them yet? Yeah, 800. Well, that will get us to level 1. So we can get the Repulsor Shield against enemy kinetic attacks, which I guess is things like bullets. Like, you know, that sort of thing. Maybe not laser, but we don't lose anything by, by equipping this. Uh, Plasteel negating 4 points of damage in its size. So this is a straight upgrade. So we'll take that. Good, 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 good. Let's um, let's go into my stuff because I want to uh, equip my new stuff first. First of all, I don't think there's any downside to doing this. That should be good. That we. That, oh wow! Why have we got? Oh, I've got two st staffs. Okay, well, let's... Uh, I forget what I had now, but I think it was that. And that. Yeah, so that's that's kind of my primary thingy now. I think that should be quite good. Uh, so Argenta, we should be able to get a heavy bolter on her now. Uh, I guess I quite still quite like the Infernical. This is Assault las Gun, so where is the... yeah, uh, here's the Heavy Bolter. I mean, it's big recoil. Oof. But I mean, I, I mean, I'm guessing it's a heavy weapon. I 
can't remember what the one, the other one I had before was classed as, the heretical follower one. I'm wondering now if I should just keep going with the one I've got. Now that recoil's quite high, isn't it? Yeah, so it is, a, it is a heavy one. It is a heavy one, because it requires the strength. Uh, okay, well, I'll take it. I'll take it. To be honest, I'm wondering whether I put the las gun in here as well. So that's range 12. The las gun's not as far as that, is it? Range 10. I mean, I like the look of her with it, <laughs> and we can we can do other stuff like reduce the cost of of using it. Uh, Abelard, is that any, is that better than what he's using? Because he's using a serrated great sword at the moment. So what does this do in comparison? Better armor, Pem, and you get the ten percent parry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is it's slightly less max damage, but I think over the armor penetration increase makes that worth it. There we go. Uh, what else did I get? That's my stuff, isn't it? What have I got now? What happened to my stuff? Got this one again. Thank you. Uh, I'll probably go down into cargo now. I think I might pause, I might even end it here, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through, I'm going to level guys up, and I'm going to go through my inventory here, which is slightly overwhelming me right now, <laughs> give me a slight brain meltdown. Um, so I'm going to spend a bit of time doing that and just try and uh, get things optimized a bit in time for the next episode. So thanks very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this, nice big boss fight, always enjoy those, especially when we win be honest uh, but yeah if you did enjoy it if you could hit the thumbs up button that'd be great leave me a comment let me know what you think about the battle that we had about the sort of emerging story that we have anything you like really it's always good to hear your thoughts and if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel it'd be amazing if you could do that as well so thanks very much one last time and i hope to see you next time for more rogue trader bye for now